Welcome to artsandcraftstv.com, episode 613, how to make polymer clay cupcake mini charms. For this video, we will be using advanced techniques for making charms that you can also sell online if you choose to. Materials, polymer clay, eye pin, clay extruder, check beads, exacto knife, baking dish, mini cupcake base, super glue, and pliers. Hi, so today we will be using the polymer clay that you can see on the screen. This is copy clay and I have different colors in here because we're going to be making different um, mini cupcakes um, and we will need different colors for that. I'll be using my exacto knife which you can get at any craft store or even the hardware store and I'll be using this uh, silicone bases that you can see here. If you don't know how to make these, you can actually click on the link below in the description or in the video itself. And I will be using also this clay extruder, which uh, you can get at your arts and crafts store with these discs. If you don't have it at home, you don't have to worry because you can also use your hands for what we're gonna be doing today. Now I'm gonna show you how to assemble your clay extruder gun just as a FYI kind of thing, but I'm sure that everybody and anybody can figure it out. We basically choose a tip and then we insert the metal here so we can push the clay. And for the colors today, I will be using two different types of blue, orange, red, green, purple, pink, brown, white, and yellow. And you can also use this little tool here or a toothpick if you want to. If you don't have the bases at home, you can do that by hand. For making um, the cupcakes useful to us, we're going to be using little eye pins, which you can buy at your craft store. And then you can use them for making bracelets or chains. Or if you want to, you can even use them for earrings. So you can make two of them and then use them for earrings and give it to your friends or your mom or whatever you want to do. So here we have the beads that we will be using and those are check beads which you can buy online. You can also buy them at the craft store but if you don't have beads at home again you can replace them by a little bit of clay. I can use a little bit of red clay for example to top off each one of our cupcakes. So let's get started. For the cupcakes um, it's as simple as taking one of the bases, taking a color um, that you like for polymer clay and then what we're going to do is to soften the clay by going back and forth into the clay and so that the clay becomes a little bit softer. Then we're going to push it into the mold. If you don't have a mold at home, you can always do this by hand by simply taking a little piece of clay and you can measure the clay divided into two if you're gonna make two different cupcakes of the same size and then using the tool that I showed you at the beginning for making ridges. We have a how to make a cupcake tutorial, a polymer clay cupcake, just using your bare hands, not using molds and the link for that is also in the description. After you push your clay into the mold, then you want to remove the excess so that you will have an even surface to work with. Now for the fun part, we're going to be putting the icing on the cupcake as it were. And for that, I have put white clay inside of my extruder and I am going to cut these into smaller pieces so that I can make the icing for each one of the cupcakes. Now the pieces will be cut to about a good three inches or so. You probably will be using less than this, depending on the size of your cupcake, of course. And we're going to go around and push the clay right on top of our base and pushing using our finger going outward so that 
the clay will adhere to the base itself. Now, when you have excess, as you can see here, we have a little bit of excess. Then what we do is to use our exacto knife and remove the excess. I make this little cupcakes to sell at my son's store and they sell like hotcakes. So I really advise you to learn this technique um, if you are going to be giving this away or if you want to make it a business for yourself. Now this is how I am doing each one of the cupcakes. You can see that I am pushing the clay onto the actual base of the cupcake and then I go around three times so that then the cupcake gets that little shape right there. Now with the exacto knife, I remove the excess and then I push inward with my finger a little bit. And that's basically how you do each one of the cupcakes. And you can see that it looks pretty cute. And now we will use our little eye pin. Now the eye pin I will use in conjunction with a little check bead little red check bead. Again, if you don't have the check bead at home, you can always use red clay. And what we're going to do is to push the eye pin through the middle of the cupcake as straight as possible. So that then that will be the cherry on top of our little cupcake. Again, we will repeat the procedure. We take a little bead and then push it through the center. I'm doing this with many cupcakes here. In reality, for the most part, I do a whole bunch of cupcakes. I can do 50 cupcakes at a time. I can do 100 cupcakes at a time. So I'll go a little bit much faster than this. Now, what we want to do is to put a little bit of sprinkles on top of each cupcake. And for that, we will take smaller pieces of clay and then we're going to try to make those as thin as possible. So we will go with whatever colors we have used for the bases of our cupcakes and then with our little exacto knife here we're going to start putting in dots. What I like to do is to put two of each color, two little sprinkles or dots of each color on each side. So I will put one on one side and then one on the opposite side and I might put one high on the cupcake and the other one closer to the base of the cupcake so that then there will be um, like real sprinkles going all around. Now to remove the cupcake is very easy. You can either bake them with the base because the base also can bake with the cupcake but all you need to do is to take your exacto knife, the bottom of your exacto knife and push out on the mold very carefully so you don't break the cupcake and then bake it. You will bake it at 215 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. And if you didn't get that, don't worry because I will be putting that information in the description as well as in the video. Now that we have our cupcakes, you might say, well, that eye pin is going to come off. So one of the little secrets that I have for making my eye pin stay is to use super glue and I put it right at the base almost of the cupcake here, at the base of the top of the cupcake actually, on the eye pin by taking the eye pin out and then pushing it back in. And this is our tutorial for today. I hope that you make this at home and enjoy them. See you in the next video. Bye.